Yo, what's going on guys? DJ has here, CollectiveKicks.com. Wanted to bring you guys some footage from the Nike factory store. 30% off friends and family sale. And I wanted to do a little bit of video, but then I chickened out. So uh, I only got like two baby clips of video. And then the rest I did uh, all pictures as usual because it's easier this way. So you could see the little price thing on the lower left hand corner. And these ones were um, $70 on clearance with the friends and family. And uh, these ones were $105. I know it only goes to $120 on the screen but um pretty crazy prices on some of this stuff those ones were 120 so the, those are uh, christmas lebrons were only 84 dollars i mean those are some pretty good prices um anyway there wasn't anything too insane these ones i don't remember these lebrons ever dropping if i'm wrong somebody let me know but I, you know i can't remember ever seeing those drop but they did have a whole bunch of kind of randomness nothing too earth shattering i did see a couple uh things that looked dope to me and if i could have gotten more, or I guess I could have got more. I just decided not to get more. But there was a couple things that I did uh, like, and I picked up two things, and I did a different video already on that. Uh, so you guys will see that probably later. But anyway, this uh, was one of them that I liked. $130 for these, not a bad price. And um, I don't know, like $130 minus the the difference. It was like 80 or 90 bucks or whatever for the, for those ones. And these ones were 110 retail 220 So they were half price on top of everything else so there were 84 bucks for those ones a really really crazy deal and then these ones are 90 dollars. so the kobe's were kobe tens were like 63 bucks or 68 bucks or whatever it is um not a bad price but um this is just kind of the stuff that i ended up seeing at my uh, factory store that i went to for those in in oregon it was the woodburn store not the mlk one uh but uh did you guys see anything cool from the factory store uh from the weekend coming up uh, if you guys are watching this after I post it, maybe uh, come back and leave a comment. Let me know what you guys found. I'm curious. Or just hit me up on Twitter and sh uh, send me a picture of, of the coolest thing you saw at the factory store. Uh, they definitely do have some random goodness there. And uh, I just think I went on a kind of an off day. Those ones are only 70 bucks plus the, the difference. So $49 uh, on those ones were not too bad. But, um, but yeah, dudes, it was kind of fun. I ran into um, a couple of people that recognized me uh, from the YouTube channel. Shout out to them. And... Uh, and one of the guys just saw me taking pictures and wanted to know more. And so I told him I, have a, I had a YouTube channel and stuff. And he was uh, really interested in what I was um, telling him about YouTube. And it, it was kind of fun talking to him, though. Uh, $90 for these, really? For real? Like, that's such a crazy price uh, on some of these things. It was just, like, it was like 50% plus 30% off. Like, obviously, just uh, insane. And how I got the friends and family discount, um, I went to Nike's, like, website i believe and i i registered uh and i don't remember honestly how i got on the mailing list but there's a mailing list for the clearance stuff and uh so i got an email that had the friends and family discount code on it already and then i just got the email um so it made it really easy to actually go ahead and uh utilize the code and get that discount so pretty uh pretty nice that that ended up happening otherwise you just know an employee and there's a ton of people those ones are 70 dollars, so 49 dollars for the hirachis that's like an employee store price and then some i mean it's just a really uh decent price and these ones are 50 dollars, kind of the oregon duck theme color on those uh 80 dollars on these these ones look really sick in hand i know the the picture is a little bit grimy but the suede was really really nice on these ones and they're 56 dollars. and then they had these as well 110 uh so 77 dollars uh, or no, oh wait 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 60 uh, what is it? 60 whatever dollars on those ones instead. Because I forgot it was 110 on the box and then 90 on the display. Sometimes they get you and, and kind of trick you on that stuff. But um, these ones were uh, uh, $70 for the Air Max 95 Safari print ones, I believe. That's a really decent price. These ones were full price, which was kind of insane. Sometimes you do see some that are full price. Uh, these ones were surprising to actually see this. Janowski's uh, Quick Strikes. And these ones were the ones from the Grail Pack. And 50, 55 bucks. So they were like $38 or something like that that was like insane uh, priced for those things those are lower than i got from the employee store just absolutely crazy and then these ones kind of had that cookies and cream our mint um cookies and cream sort of looked that one i really like that also these ones i was really tempted if the price was lower on these i would have totally bought them because of the lunar um uh threes but the fly knit lunar fly knit threes or whatever and the, the colorway was super sick like i haven't seen one like that before with the all whites uh, upper and the black swoosh and stuff was really really nice and just some other uh, running shoes here and there. Uh, some solid prices. A Lunar Glide 7s for 70 bucks plus that discount. So $49. Again, that's like lower than Employee Star price when I got mine uh, before. And they had some pretty uh, dope colorways. This gray one was really nice. 
as well as uh, the black one right here, which is different, I believe, than the one. Yeah, I had the white one with the black. That was kind of reverse of the one that I ended up getting. Uh, Air Max 95s, they had a couple different colorways uh, as well. So the, they had these ones on the hash wall. And then they had these KDs. I believe that the price on these ones were $130 uh, plus a discount. So pretty good. And then they had tons and tons of these gold Kobe 10 EXT mids. $150. So 105 would have been the price and 225 on the retail. Uh, and these ones are really nice as well. Uh, I just like the kind of the silver and the black suede and the clear soles. Really nice looking uh, SBs right there for like 56 bucks, whatever it was. These ones are 130 so under $100 and they retail at like 220 was it? 250 I think actually on, on the box if you just saw it. These ones were crazy. Uh, but this one was the craziest one I saw. They had the Pagale. Uh, LeBron 12 elites, but the price point they weren't discounted. I wanted the guy to look them up for me, but he said, "Ah, oh, they they're they're um, listed price, so they were 299.99." I'm like, "Dang, that's like they weren't discounted at all. They were straight up retail, unfortunately, and they were size nine. I, I would have bought them um, if they were like on discount. So 30% off is what I would have got them. So that would have been like 200 and something dollars. But ultimately, I was like, "Yeah, I don't want to do it." Steel seal steals $55 plus that 30% off. Um, or no, the $50 plus that, that, that discount. So those uh, monarchs were like $35 or something. If I if I'm not mistaken, that would have been crazy. Those had the really like nice camo print on those. Um, and then these ones are 40 bucks for these uh, GS size. These ones are solid price on those ones, uh, in my opinion. And these ones as well, this uh, shock CLs. And uh, forty dollars plus that discount, of course. So twenty eight bucks. Like seriously, I should have got those um, Air Max Plus or the the other ones, the GS ones for my my little guy. Um, th these ones were one hundred and ten, so seventy seven bucks for the Air Maxes and the GS size. This colorway was really sick as well, seventy seven bucks. Uh, women's size though, but I really like the colorway. I was like, man, it's funny how you could see these ones at the clearance store, and they had th some Flynet racers uh, for eighty four bucks. It's it's crazy to see the clearance store prices though. And then you see the, the colorways and you're like, man, I don't remember ever seeing these colorways even in retail. And, I and you know, I frequent the sites all the time and uh, check out Nike clearances and stuff. And this colorway was really uh, crazy as well. This is a women's um, Air Force One. Retail is only 100 bucks on those. But also, if you guys are interested in shopping Nike clearance online, they have a whole bunch of new stuff that hit Nike clearance. Not the 30% off, but um, these ones are really cool too. The Lunar Lawn soles on those boots. Uh, but anyway, if you want to check the link in the description and there'll be some uh, links to uh, shop online and see some of the new products that dropped. Uh, but that's pretty much the overall overview of the shoes. And then I kind of went back and looked at some of the apparel and um, and I did end up buying one of the, the things. These golf pants were crazy expensive. I think they're golf pants and they were um, $250 and then so they were $70 something dollars. Also, some of the stuff in the store, which is one of the deals that I got, it was like hash price, then 50% off of hash price. And then on top of that, it was 30% off of the 50%. So it was like super crazy. I ended up getting like a $300 jacket for like, I think 70 bucks or something like that. 73 bucks. Uh, but you'll see that in a different video. Um, Air Force One hat with a suede um, brim. Thought that was kind of interesting. And then you flip it over and it, it had the kind of the, the plaid um, pattern on the, on the bottom of that. And then this uh, Jordan jacket was actually pretty dope. Flight member jacket, 220, 110, and then whatever it was. These are those pants that I got, um, the Tech Wovens, and they're the ones that are cuffed like that. Sometimes they look a little baggy, but they're one of my favorite pants that you can that that I own, and they're um, $100 plus the 30% off. And then this vest was really, really dope too, but I didn't end up buying that one. This other vest um, was reflective, and I was like, man, this is crazy, but they didn't have my size. I might have bought it. I don't know. Uh, but, um, this is a jacket that I ended up going with, man. The retail was 300 on it. I just couldn't like, uh, turn it down for the price, uh, that I ended up paying. Also, they had the, these, uh, little, um, um, jump mans that look pretty nice as well. And then on feet, you could see this is what I ended up wearing, uh, that day. But that's pretty much all we have. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys for some more videos soon.